it's early winter in southwest Florida, which means one day it's 80 degrees and flat calm, and the next is 50 degrees and blowing 20. The fish are as confused as the water tanks, and let's not even talk about the weather. Regardless, we have a plan, Kobe. If the wind lays down and the sun comes out, there's a possibility we could sight fish one of these curious creatures. But if it stays rough, we'll have to find them on the bottom. Either way, the hunt is on. Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Every time we plan to go fishing, we get some kind of weather activity. So, we've, we've had a few tries. Yeah, like, I'm hoping today they're not freaking out because that cold front moved in last night. We got the good conditions. I know tomorrow is going to be no good. So we got the last nice day and we'll make the best of it for sure. And you've been on a good cobia bite. There's been some triple tail, some snook on a wreck or a reef. Cobia, triple tail. You know, usually we should have some fall permit around right now. That's been non-existent, but the cobia have made up for it. So cool. hopefully, you know, we got clear skies. So these, these fish, they may want to come up. We got the water temp drop. So they'll be up trying to sun themselves. And if we see that, we can sight fish them. It'll yeah. be cool. Yeah. I'll be up there. Yeah. You'll be down here. We'll We've be been talking days. about this since I cast July last year, earlier this year. It's about time we get out and go do some fishing. Tried it a couple times, it didn't work, and here we are. Here we are. All right, brother, well, get us there. Take us there, brother. We'll make it happen. Tons of bait here. Got birds working, diving, crashing. You gonna throw the net? You want me to throw it? It's up to you, buddy. I don't want to get wet if you uh, don't. So you can get <laughs> wet. I don't have my bibs on. <laughs> Job, dude. We got the bait, we got the conditions. Just need to catch a fish. Oh, we're going to. Let's go wreck them. Let's go mess them up a little. Put your helmets on. Here we go. Chris, I'm gonna head up to the bow. You going up on the tower? Yeah, I'll be up top. We're gonna do a lap and see if we can uh, find them on the surface. And I'll point them out to you. We'll pitch baits to them, see if we can hook up. And if not, we'll just anchor. Cool deal, bro. When I said we had conditions, I meant fishable, not flat. So we'll have some waves. These fish will lay in the front sides of these waves. So just keep an eye. If you see one surfing it, we'll go pitch a bait to him. All 
All right, I'm not really seeing them, but I am seeing some big marks on the bottom. So let's just anchor up. I think if it lays down a little bit, they'll come to the surface for us. Cool, cool. Want to re-rig these rods? Put some weights on them? Uh, we'll use a jig. We'll um, we'll put a split shot, big split shot on one, and we'll put a jig on the other. Okay. Well, we've transitioned from trying to find them on the surface. So now we're fishing on the bottom. You were marking them. You said there's a wreck right behind us and a wreck to our right? Yeah, there's two pieces. It's kind of split. We got this one right behind us and we're on the outgoing tide. So we're going to fish this one and pitch some baits off the side that'll drift into the other side of the wreck. And uh, we'll just kind of cover all the ground we can because these cobia, they like to move all the time. So um, if these clouds go away and the you know, we get a Kinda little bit less down. chop, calms down. Sight fish them on the surface. They'll come right up for us and hopefully we can get a couple on the, uh, on the surface. You know, I just handed you that rod, right? <laughs> appreciate it, buddy. Oh, hold on, I'm on, I'm on double. Hey, I appreciate you right back, brother. <laughs> yes, head, sir. Head shaking like a cobia. Yep, here he comes. Woo! How we get it started, brother? Oh, that's a good one there. Who's gonna gaff our fish? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'll come forward and give us some space. These fish want to be together. Yours looks pretty close, huh? Cobia, baby, here he is. Woo, look at there. Nice <laughs> job. I see color on yours. Yeah, dude. Two good fish, buddy. Heck yeah, bro. Great job. All right. Yeah, he's and throw him in a boat. Let's grab the net on him. Nice work, bro. There's one. There's one. All right, I'll trade you. Deal. Got him in the net. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> That is what we came to do. Good job, buddy. Cold front coming through. Late fall, Kobe fishing. Bro, we went from bouncing around, looking for him. Sun finally came out, staged up on a wreck, and doubled up in two seconds, dude. I was getting nervous for a minute, but the conditions got right. It, and The wind chilled out and, yep. and, and didn't take long either. Yep. We ran out of the pass and I mean, it was about 30 minutes in and boom, all of a sudden, sun's out, wind calmed down, double cobes. Heck yeah, bro. <laughs> That's what we came for. This dude. one ate it, let it go, came back for it. Yours was on 30 seconds later, so can't love beat it. that. Freaking love it, dude. Can't beat it. That's awesome. They're getting cranky, let's get them back. Chris, this one measures out, brother. I'm gonna get him on ice. And uh, you get yours back in the water. Sounds good, buddy. Release it. All right, bro. Zero here, brother. That's awesome. Let's do that a few more times. I know they're here, you know, if they're gonna... Oh, are you getting bit already? It's getting nervous. It's getting real nervous. Well, let me get a bait. I won't talk, I'll get a bait. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. What do we got? Get away from that door. What we 
guy. What do you think it is? Cobia, Snook? Is he head shaking? He's head shaking. He's coming to the Cobia. I haven't seen it yet. Yes, Cobia. sir, Cobia. Old brown clown. All right. Left me hanging. Oh, my bad. I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's warming up, man. I'm going to lose this hoodie. Yeah. There's oh, another one with him. I didn't even. I was like, I know there's not going to be one with him. He's happy. He's chilling with him. Think we can get him on a bait buster? Yeah. He got it. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Just the random bait buster in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine pulled right there. Yours pulled? Mine pulled. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. That was sick, dude. <laughs> Think we can get him on a random bait buster? Yeah, boom, <laughs> he ate it. Trade one for one. Mine just popped right off. Let me throw this rod back here, and I'll come to the front with you. We just... Yours was way bigger too. All right, bring him on this way, brother. Come on in. Got him. Yes, sir. <laughs> on the bait bus. Hey, we're gonna count that double. That's awesome. Mine was just a quick it release. It counts. You got the leader. Catching him on live bait. Catching him on artificial. DOA will catch anything, brother. Kobe hit the boat. We got one to the boat on artificial too. This was much bigger, yeah. but. Smoke that. Thing, that was a cool dude. way to watch it go down. Let's see if I can get him on button. You got him? Yeah. It's always weird unhooking a fish when you're not holding it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, mine was a tank. Mine was an absolute beast. That one would have been good. Came on button. That has been better, but it's all good, bro. We got more to catch. Caught a lot. Nice work, bro. He was flirting with that wreck for a second. You like a cobia? No. Either gag or snook. Or a Goliath grouper. Mr. Goliath. What were we just talking the about? Man ladies? eater. We were just talking about them. They have cool colors when they're that young. These juveniles get all patterned up. Very cool. You got him? I'm going to sling my bait back out. Beautiful fish. Fish on, boys. Fish on, boys. Wake up, fish. There he goes. Snook. Is it? Or redfish? No, it's a snook. Nice snook. He munched it, too, dude. Nice job. Bail's open. First snook, brother. Heck yeah, dude. Hey, buddy. Been talking about him long enough. It's about time we get one. Out here, look how clean he is from being out in this ocean. You know, we had such a great number of snook die in my area, Mosquito Lagoon. So anytime I can catch snook, and we're starting to catch them again, but anytime I can catch snook, man, it's a special special time. i tell you where I first got associated or learned about snook was right over there, Sanibel Island. So now to come out here offshore, fishing on the bottom, looking for cobia, but still picking up snook out here in the Gulf, man, can't beat that. That's awesome. Very cool. 
Got to the side, always hold on to you, latch on to your thumb. On it goes. <laughs> for a little show there at the end for us. Yeah, bro. Cobia, Snook, Glad hey. Grouper. Heck of a day so far. Some good fall fishing. Crushing it, man. Crushing it. And now, the Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. For a long time, I've been part of the Danco family. I tell you, Danco makes an incredible product. My favorite and the one I use the most are their titanium premium pliers. They have a lifetime guarantee. But Danco doesn't just make pliers. They make fillet knives, bait nets, carbon fiber lightweight gaffs. If you are like me and you're into fishing and you're into having the right tool for the job, visit dancopliers.com. See the whole wide range of products that they sell to take care of you while you're out in the water. go. I'm on. Ooh, that's a dog. That's a dog. You know, we've been bouncing around. That front is definitely showing up. It's getting a little choppier. And we're still out here catching fish, brother. I just got eight off of the fish when yours came by mine. Look at him going off. I think you got a big cobia. Yep. Big nice cobia. cobia. Nice cobia. Walk up for me. Look yeah. at the other one with him. Where's that bait buster? Our lucky bait buster. There's another one with him. Still right there with there him. he is, double baby, yes sir! <laughs> one more double for good measure. <laughs> okay, that one's a shorty anyway, so. Ooh. Head up, coming to you. There it There's is. There's one. What a way to end the day. We get popped off right there. That's how you do it, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. That was <laughs> awesome, dude. First drop, too. First drop on this last spot. And the lucky bait buster does it again. Does it again. That was the way to do it right there. If you didn't stop me and say oh. that, we would have been two miles from here. This guy's got no, he's got a top of his tail missing. All right, he's up, guys. What a day. We're running traps, looking for triple tail. We say, hey, there's one more spot. We're coming up to it. First bait's down. This guy munched it. And you know what? The pulling power of this fish, even with half of a tail. Half a rudder. Yeah. And he came up with this guy. You grabbed the bait buster and it was a double on. And you know what? I lost a big fish earlier and it bent that hook out. This fish bent the hook in and he wasn't coming off. Praise God on that one, bro. That was awesome. That is awesome. What a day. We got this cold front coming in. 
end it like this. Running out of light. Running out of light. A few minutes left. Night. What a day, And bro. actually stopped me on the way back. Said, let's just try one more. And I'm glad we did, because yeah, we got two beauties out of it. Right there. Yeah. Here goes mine. <laughs> what a way to end it, buddy. Yes, sir. Glad we got to do it. Got just a little bit of light. Heading back in with. Might be dark when we get home. Oh, what a great day. <laughs> Let's get there. Awesome. I love it when a plan comes together, and even more so when you have to work for it. The Cobia never floated high for us, but it didn't matter. We were dedicated and ready. We fished hard hitting multiple wrecks and reefs, staying focused, coming tight, turning the handle and getting the fish to the boat, and sometimes even grabbing the pitch rod to secure the double. What a day, and what a way to end this entry in the captain's log.